Hi, this is Roglan. In this video, which is an extension of the instructions following this paint set for beginners, I will show you how to paint the Iron Fist Dwarf. I tried to follow these instructions as good as I could. The only thing I changed is the non-metallic metal part, which I personally think is too difficult for a beginner to use. Instead, I'm using true metallic metal. Two colors are used here. They are from the Vallejo Air series. Gun and Chrome for the highlights. The techniques shown in this video is not necessarily how I personally would paint this miniature. I'm just trying to follow these instructions. Some steps are shorted down. For example, a base coat for the skin is shown on the face only. If you are interested, I would really recommend this paint set. And in combination with the instructions and this video, I think you could learn a lot. Good luck! I now mix the skin tones. Heavy skin tone 70%, bloody red 30%. Base color for the hair and the beard is 50% bloody red, 50% scrofulous brown. Base coat for the belt is 60% heavy brown, 40% heavy sienna. Base coat for the saddle flap is 60% bloody red and 40% heavy sienna. And base coat for the boots and the bags are pure heavy sienna.
Vallejo Air Gun is used for base coating the axe and the tow guards. For the skull, I use heavy skin tone. Further, I define parts of the figure with a wash. Colors diluted 4 to 1 of bloody red to the hair and the beard. Another wash of 50% black and 50% heavy sienna to the rest of the figure. I then apply the first highlight to the skin with heavy skin tone. I then apply the second highlight to the skin with heavy skin tone, adding a small amount of elfic flesh.
For the last highlight we apply Elphic Flesh alone, taking care to the blend and the colors so that the transition is smooth. I then apply the first highlight to the hair with 70% scrofulous brown and 30% bloody red. This goes for the beard as well. Second highlight with scrofulous brown alone. Last highlight is then applied 40% scrofulous brown and 60% elfic flesh. I apply the first highlight with 70% of heavy sienna, 30% heavy skin tone to the boots and the bags. After this I'm doing the second highlight with heavy skin tone and after that I'm adding elfic flesh little by little.
For the cloth or saddle flaps, we apply the first highlight with bloody red. Then apply a second highlight with bloody red and a little bit of elfic flesh. I'm mixing chrome into the gun mix. Little by little to adding highlights to the metal parts, ending up with only chrome as a final highlight. base for the belt was a mixture of 70% heavy brown and 30% heavy sienna and I then applied the first highlight with heavy brown and a small amount of elfic flesh building up and ended with elfic flesh only in small parts. The skull on the back of the dwarf was originally a mixture of elfic flesh and black to create a greyish tone. I actually made it wrong, or another tone, a browner tone, so I was using heavy sienna and the uh, heavy brown, but uh, you can do it either way. It's a little bit of grey into this one as well, so it's a mixture. The goblin's head was base coated with goblin green and I added elfic flesh little by little to create the highlights. I shaded it with heavy sienna and I just painted the tongue and the eyes with bloody red adding small amounts of elfic flesh for the highlights. The teeth was painted with heavy brown added some elfic flesh for highlights.
The gemstones on the bracelet were painted with bloody red and using elfic flesh for just small dots as reflective points. This is how it ended up. It looks pretty much like the box art of this paint set. I hope you had fun watching this tutorial and I see you next time.